I'm Ron from JJ and Ron in the Morning. I'm here with New Song's Russ Lee. We're backstage live at Winter Jam. Russ, how you doing? I'm doing good. It's going great. No. Best, best Winter Jam ever. Best ever? Best ever. You know what? Winter Jam is not entertainment, though, is it? No. It's about ministry. Line. Absolutely. Tell us about that. On the stage and off the stage. You know what? And we're constantly reminded of how important what we're doing is. I think I told you earlier, Ron, that so far this year, last year, uh, all of Winter Jam, uh, over 90,000 people prayed to receive Christ. 530,000 people showed up. It was an amazing year. And we just prayed and said, okay, God, what are we going to do now? And this year, we're, we have just started this year prayerfully expecting God to do great things. We're a little over halfway finished, and already 90,000-plus people have prayed to wow. receive Christ. And, That's awesome. And some, some have prayed to receive Christ at the concert, and then others in direct response. For instance... This weekend, we started our weekend run uh, in Austin, Texas this weekend, and there were some kids that were supposed to be there who didn't show up. Their youth group was concerned. They were coming behind the youth group only to find out that those two kids had been in a horrible accident and killed instantly, a brother and a sister, both in high school, and it was tragic and it was horrible. And our Winter Jam family kind of surrounded that youth group and the youth pastor, about 30 of them there and just prayed for them and encouraged them the best that we could. And, and I, the guys in Skillet took some time. John Cooper encouraged them, and Jen, the drummer, prayed for them. And, and Corey, um, John's wife, the girl that plays guitar in Skillet, they, they just kind of ministered to these kids and loved on them. She's mm. a mom, you know, she gets it. Yeah. And so they loved on these kids and really encouraged them. And uh, the kids went home, and, and they, they, did, they made a decision to stay at Winter Jam after they found out about the accident because they said, we feel like that, that these two kids, Caleb and his sister, uh, would want us to worship through our grief and to worship the Lord and that God would somehow get the glory out of this, right. and which was powerful, as you know. Well, those kids came. They worshiped. They had a great night. They went back the next day at school. The school invited the youth pastor to come to the school to do some counseling and to just minister to the students, which he had never been able to do, by the way. Mm -hmm. And through the process of that, about 30 students and teachers came to know Christ that day on Friday. And then the funerals today, they've asked them to hold it in the high school auditorium uh, because, uh, or in the high school gymnasium, rather, because there's no church big enough to hold the crowd, the students and everyone that'll come. This girl was very involved in cheerleading and some other things, and her brother was very involved in things at school. So very popular kids, great Christian kids, who had just told their youth pastor a week or two before that they were willing to die for their faith, if that's what it took. These are kids that were abandoned by their parents, raised by their grandmother, uh, and we're praying that their parents will come to Christ through this. But more than that, we're seeing the ripple effects. And even we decided today that from now on, for the rest of Winter Jam this year, there'll be two empty seats down front. And those seats will not just be in honor of those kids and their lives and their witness, but also it'll be a reminder to every artist and speaker that steps on that stage that for somebody, this may be the last opportunity they have to hear the gospel or to be encouraged toward Christ. Wow, right. So we're real serious about that. We love to celebrate who Jesus is. We love to worship, and that's why we bring people like Carrie Job and Sanctus Real. We love to get loud. That's why we've got Skillet out here, you yeah, know. Right. Uh, but but we but, and, but we love sharing the message of the gospel. And as you know, that's always been the heart of Winter Jam, and always will be. And we're watching God move in some really unique ways. We're seeing uh, cotton candy vendors and uh, security guards and bus drivers and and crew guys that are local and all kinds of people come to Christ this year and it's exciting because we've challenged each other to be ministers not just on the platform but around the, around the arena and it's been wow. exciting to see what God's done. Well it is real ministry going on and if you got a chance to go see Winter Jam go see it. Go see it. More information on Winter Jam is at jamtour.com. That's right. Jamtour.com. Yeah and you can check out Jam TV too when you go to Jam Tour there's a lot of videos interviews with Kerry Job, Peter Furler, a lot of people like that and, and and, and inside information about what's going on backstage at Winter Jam, too. So check it out. Cool stuff from Winter Jam, live backstage. I'm Ron Shane.